Hey guys! Happy Valentine's Day! Hope you are enjoying your special day with your loved one or, you know, just having a special day for yourself. So, uh, today I wanted to make two different breakfast day ideas for Valentine's. And, and I'm going to do red velvet pancakes and blueberry scones. I think they're two very good ideas and two different kind of one more sweet, one more fruity, whatever your preference. Uh, so to start off with, start to start off with, we're going to be making red velvet pancakes. So what you're going to need is one can of coconut milk, and then you're going to add about half of the can's worth of water, and then we're going to go ahead and put in our salt, baking soda. baking soda and baking powder and then we're going to go ahead and add our flour you're going to want to go ahead and add that slowly and then we're going to want to add about a teaspoon of vanilla and we're going to also add about a teaspoon of maple syrup and to make these pancakes red, as in the red velvet, I'm using some gel food coloring and we're just going to put a little bit of that in there. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and just whisk it up now. Okay, so my red color has come out to be a little bit more pink, but we'll work with it. I mean, it's Valentine's Day. You know, red, pink, it all tastes good. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take this over to the stove and we're going to go ahead and start making the pancakes. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put them on the pan. And you're probably going to use about two to three scoops on the pan and then you'll just want to spread it out in a circular pattern. And it'll probably take about two to three minutes to cook on the side and then you'll flip it over. You're going to want to wait until it gets these bubbles around the pancake and then that means it's okay to go ahead and flip. Alright. And there you go. And then you're just going to repeat this for as many pancakes as you have and I will see you when I'm finished. Alright guys, so just as our last pancake is finished cooking, we're going to go ahead and get started on the blueberry scones. So we're going to go ahead and add in our flour first. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our coconut milk. And then our baking powder. Salt. And sugar. And you can't forget the blueberries. You can replace this with any other fruit that you want, but I'm just using wild blueberries because I had them left over in my fridge. And you're going to want to add about three quarters of a cup. So let's go ahead and grab a spatula and get that all mixed up. What is your guys' favorite breakfast? Mine would probably have to be like pancakes or waffles, but I'm a sucker for like a muffin or a scone. Just because this is easy to, this is just easy to take on the go, so you can just bake them the night before and then you have them all ready for breakfast. So. Use those muscles. 
Alright, so you're going to kind of see it to start become a dough and you're just going to want to keep folding that in until it's not really, until the flour is all incorporated. And then once we have everything mixed well, we're going to go ahead and lay it down on the counter. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just lay this down out on the counter. And then you're going to want to use your hands to just kind of knead it like you would bread so that everything is sticking together. Alright, looking good. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to make little hearts. Uh, oh, our oven is preheated. Um, I've preheated it to 425 degrees. And so what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to lay this out flat. And I'm going to cut little hearts out. Alright, so I over to my right here I have a baking sheet with um, parchment paper. This will just help it not to stick on the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut out some hearts. So we're going to go ahead and throw those into the oven for 15 minutes and see what happens. Now we wait. Alright guys, so we finally have it finished. We have our red velvet pancakes and our blueberry heart scones. Go ahead, try out one of these ideas if you want to. And you know, you can try the pink velvet pan You can try the pink velvet pancakes or you can go ahead and try the blueberry scones. If you do, please send me pictures. I'd love to see them. Until then, happy Valentine's Day.